yeah. Morning everyone. Hope you've had a great week. Thanks for coming today. So, good morning to you all. Good morning my big boy Raphael. I see him in his little swimming pool this week. 37 degrees in Australia. <laughs> anyway, before we start, I'm going to put a bubble of white light of protection around us individually and around us as a soul family group that we actually are. So before I start, did you manage to put anything in your dustbins last week? Even if you did one thing, you've done a great bit of work there. And we won't go to the brown dustbin every week and stuff like that, but it is there for you to use at any time, any time that you like at all. Right, so before I start with the meditation, I just want us to take, all of us to take something positive from this pandemic. Now for me, with the sharing of the vaccine, this is uniting us in the knowledge that we must share. We must share with poorer countries who don't have the same opportunities as all of us take for granted, right? And I think it will break down the barriers of inequality, right? Whether you believe in the vaccination or not, the whole world is contaminated. And as such, we have to unite as a whole world, like a whole people. And then once we realise that we really are just one, right, we can heal. We can heal the world. This is our chance, our chance to dream big. So let's create a new society, a new world, not a new world order, a new world. And like there's already talk of countries giving away the vaccination for free, right? That is the start, right? So wish it, dream it, and then do it. And I just think out of all this, we will come out the stronger and the better and a more equal world, which is what we actually need to do. Right, so enough of my today's rant, as my Dustin calls them. <laughs> and we'll go on our beautiful meditation. So nice and relaxed, get comfy in your chair. Three deep breaths before we start. we go. We walk up our wooded path. It's a balmy summer's day. Sun shining on our back. There's a beautiful scent of flowers in the air. The air is rustling through the leaves and we feel good about ourselves today as we've done fantastic work on our own psyches. And we wend up that path and we notice the sound of all the birds in the trees, the bunnies and the butterflies. All the lovely gifts from nature that we take. And on our way up, we're going to go through some walled gardens. The walled gardens, when you open the door, you come into a sea of red flowers, poppies, tulips, carnations. And we hold our hands out like that and we absorb all the energy that we need to take from that colour. And we go through the next door and we come to a field of orange flowers, pansies, marigolds, roses. And again, we hold our hands out and we absorb all that what we need from them, those colour, that colour. And we open the next door into a field of yellow flowers, daffodils, daisies, buttercups. Again, we hold our hands out to absorb and we take only what we need from that colour. And we open the next door into the field of green and pink flowers. Carnations, roses, pine, bleeding hearts. Again, absorbing only what we need to take from that colour. And we progress into the next, oh, through the next door and the next door opens up to a field of light blue flowers. pronounce it but beautiful light blue flowers which we again hold our hands out and absorb only that what we need from that colour 
and the indigo, we go into the next field, it's the indigo flowers, African violets and pansies. Again, we absorb all what we need from that colour. And the last gateway into the violet field. Violets, irises. Again, only what we need do we take from that colour. And we come out of the last gate and wend on up our path. And as we turn the first corner, there's our grey dustbin. Our grey dustbin where we use it to offload all the irritations of last week. All the things that you think that you haven't done good enough. All the things that you beat yourself up for. All your fears, all your worries. Everything that doesn't add to you, let's put it in that dustbin. And just with the words, we will try better today. Right? And every day we are going to try to be that little bit better than we were yesterday. So put that lid on real tight because we don't want them worries coming back out at you in the week. And we wend on up our path. We feel so energised from coming through them orchards of flowers and we are raring to go to do our work today. And as we wend up the path, we come past the brown dustbin of secrets that we visited last week and it's just a little acknowledgement from us little slight look with your eyes just to acknowledge that it is there and know that's there for you anytime that you're ready to offload serious stuff that you've kept inside all of those years and as we turn around the last bend there is our beautiful tree just waiting for us now this week's slightly different because we are actually going to form a circle around the outside of the tree, right? And we're going to send all our love and healing and forgiveness through the tree. And we're going to let that take it up through the air and also down through its roots. So nice, get ready, because this is powerful work that you're going to be doing. So I'm going to leave you how hands are all joined we are one family and we are now just going to open our heart chakra and send all our love and forgiveness and healing to the whole world, the whole planet as a whole. And I shall leave you doing exactly that.
And now it's time to come back. It's a huge outburst of energy from the tree to give us thanks for the work that we've just done today. And then there's an outbursting of love coming back from us to the tree for allowing it to amplify the work that we do. And reluctantly we come away from the tree. We actually give each other a group hug and appreciation of just being able to do the work that we're doing. And we went back down our path, past the dustbin of secrets, the round dustbin. There's always a little surreptitious look at that dustbin when we go past it because it does valuable work. And we went down the street, coming down the path, back down past our grey dustbin. We're so happy that we've got such an easy tool to offload all of our insecurities and all our worries and all our fears into this dustbin. And we went down the path, noticing the bunnies and the birds and the bees and the scent of flowers in the air and just that love of being alive. And we go back through the orchards because we've depleted a lot of energy with the work that we've done today. So starting from the violet orchard with violets and irises, walking through that with our hands outstretched picking up all the energy that we need from those colours. We pass through the gate into the field of indigo flowers, African violets, pansies. Again, absorbing everything that we need and only that what we need from that colour. Because it's now our new way. We're only taking what we need and we're leaving the rest for everyone else. We go through that door and we go into our light blue field of flowers cornflowers, delphiniums, viola joker <laughs> and again just taking that what we need from those colours to help us get through the week and through the next doorway into the field of green and pink flowers, the pine, the carnation, the tulips, bleeding hearts, it's one of my favourite flowers through that next gut and taking that what we need and only that what we need from that colour before we go through the next door into the field of yellow flowers, daffodils, daisies, buttercups, absorbing all the sunshine and the love from those colour, that colour that we need. Out through that gateway into our orange field of flowers, pansies, marigolds, roses, taking only what we need last gateway of red flowers, poppies, tulips, carnations and, and we feel really re-energised, ready for anything that the world has got to give us when we come out of here and suddenly down, down we come till we're back in the chair that we started our journey with, nice and relaxed, three deep breaths, bring us off back to the now. just got the tickle in my throat then sorry so hopefully you're back in your chair now back to the here and now you're back well done you what a fantastic morning's work you've just done well done all of you so I want to just before we start again I'm just going to read a couple of cards to you all right I've got crystal tarot and that card is the two of pentacles and the two of pentacles is always about balance it's about juggling money it's about juggling life's up and down but i get it that we're all good jugglers so don't set yourself boundaries that you can't just be yourself just allow things to come and, and pass through you without leaving all stuff to worry about and the next one is diana cooper's unicorn cards a bit old fashioned looking these ones actually All right. and if you have a look at that it says service with an open heart is a key to satisfaction now I actually believe that when you do something for nothing 
it's different, right? There's a different energy around it. There's, you know, it's not for ulterior motives. It's just for the pleasure of giving. Now, all of our nurses and doctors and anyone that's in that care sector, every single one of them does not work for the money. They work for the love of humanity. That's the only way that I can think about it, right? And they work with a true love in their heart. And that's what makes them our earth angels. Because when you don't work, when you work from the heart, obviously everyone needs a bit of money. We can't survive without it anymore. But when you when you work from the heart, it, it brings a different vibration into what you're doing. So just think of what you can do for someone else, especially if it's someone else in need, because our new world is going to be a world of sharing and caring for each other. Money's going to be very little, very low down on the scale of things, because everything is going to be out what we can do for each other, especially for those that are less fortunate for, than, our, than us. You know, we've been born into an opulent country over here. It's not like getting born in Syria. So it's really down to us to bring them back to being one with us, like the whole world, one one love, one love, one fabulous is that, right? And then my darling Sam Pennock put this on the internet yesterday and it just was so heartening. In less than five weeks, excuse me, <coughs> it'll be March. March means daffodils, sunshine, warmer days, longer days, new beginnings. So keep going everyone, we can do this, we will, t it's a weird thing, I just feel that we're going to turn this pandemic around to making us live in a better world than what we do now, and, and I just love this, wish it, dream it, and then do it, but make sure your dreams are huge, because if you don't have dreams, they can't possibly come true, can they? <laughs> so a big thank you to our nurses our doctors, our carers and cleaners and dustmen, absolutely, and, and the shop workers. I think they, they're very underrated, our poor old shop workers, right? And anyone and anyone that's doing anything for anyone else, I will give you a big prize out there. So, oh, I've got a right tickle in my throat now, sorry. <coughs> sorry about that. Um, right, so big thank you to everyone. Close down your energy centres now your crown, your third eye, your throat, your heart, your solar, your sacral, and your root chakra. Close it, don't shut them, just cut, bend them down so they're just slightly not wide open, right? Put your cloak on, put your hood up, get yourself that you feel really safe when you're going out there, but the minute that you're out there, open that heart chakra right up and give absolutely anyone and everyone as much love, healing and forgiveness that you can. Absolutely anyone and everyone. No prejudice. It's, we've got to give this to the, the abusers, the tyrants, the despots, as well as the needy and the, those that are injured and hurt. We have to be unlimited, unlimited love out there because only love will get us through this. So I hope, <laughs> I hope that you feel good after after today. So before I go, my lovely Mother Teresa, spread love wherever you go. Let no one come to you without leaving the happier for meeting you. If you can achieve that, even with one person in your life, you are doing great things. So don't forget, wish it dream it and do it but make sure you feel safe while you're doing it if you feel unsafe in what you're doing walk away from it <coughs> you don't have to be where you don't feel safe to be just remove yourself from it this is your own personal intuition if you want to call it that just pay attention to it so thank you very much for coming again this week I absolutely love doing these meditations, so I hope that you like them too. I just want you, if you can share these videos, please do. If they help even one person that you've shared it to, my work is done. Because if it's just one person, one is better than none. So please share the videos if you can. 
I do keep a record of them on YouTube under Eileen's Crystal Singing Bowl Meditations should you want to go back and look old, one, old ones up. So thank you very much for coming. Bye bye my Raphael and my cousin Lisa. <laughs> Everyone look out for each other. Look after each other. Sharing is caring and sharing is where it's going to be at. One love, one world. Wish it, dream it, and do it. Bye-bye, you all. Take care of yourselves out there. See you next week, hopefully, same time, about 12 noon-ish. <laughs> Everyone knows what uploading problems that I have with it. I'm also doing mini tarot readings free on a Sunday at 2 o'clock, and then me and Tony, later on today, we will be doing the reading of a story with Tony, the master puppeteer on her. <laughs> So something to look forward to and try and get that with yourself that you've got something to look forward to every day. Now, just before I go very briefly, I've set myself a task of learning to play the clarinet <laughs> So this, in, this, in this lockdown. So by the time it's over, hopefully I'll be able to play you a tune before it's over. 